Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is James. This is Jamie Dodger Flips. We're back again Monday morning. It's another weekend sales update, but unfortunately it's probably been one of my worst weekends in a very long time. Only eight sales going out the door. It would have been nine, but literally half an hour ago, had a message from a buyer that bought a pair of shoes this morning for 50 quid and they want to cancel because they bought the wrong color. So these things happen. 50 quid had to refund him straight away. No harm done because I haven't posted the shoes out yet. So it's not really too annoying. It's just a bit of a shame because it's been a pretty poor weekend. So I would have really appreciated that extra 50 pound sale. But these things happen. Either way, we've still got eight pairs of shoes going out. So I did say in my last sales update that this sales update would consist of a bit more car boot items and random everything items. But it turns out last week I had a load more vintage items on the way. So I got them all cleaned up and sorted, listed on the shop. And this week should be the week where I start listing all the everything stock, including the soup maker, which again, I brought another one yesterday at the car boot. So I've got a full car load of car boot stock ready to list this week. And hopefully in next week's video, you'll see shoes as well as everything stock, because I don't actually have any shoes coming. I had a whole week off from sniping on Vinted last week, mainly because of a sort of money issue. I was spending a little bit too much money on there and I wanted to just calm it down a little bit. And yeah, I need to start making the sales rather than just spending the money daily. Sometimes I was spending up to like £100 a day just on Vinted, and it does add up to be quite a lot of money. And if that money's not coming in as quick, then got a bit of a problem. But I did say in last week's video that I will be filming this video no matter what from now on, even if it's a really bad video of like two sales. And this one wasn't far off. It's almost like I jinxed myself. We've got eight sales going out today. Uh, starting off with this pair here, it's just a pair of Clark's Tour sort of reddish brown shoes. Honestly, I can't even remember where I got these from, but they've sold for £3.25 plus postage, and I know that I probably paid a lot more than that for them. So, epic fail. So, no profit for me. Lost out on a load of money, listing fees, all that. But these things happen. I thought they'd have a lot more interest when I first listed them, and they had hardly any at all. So, £3.25 plus postage on them. So, thankfully, that was the only really low sale. All the others are above £25. So, the next one is these ones here which you would recognize from the car boot video. So this is actually my first car boot flip of the year. These are the Hunter's Kids Wellies. They cleaned up really nicely. I'll try and get some light on them. There you go, you can really see how clean they actually are. There's the soles, no wear at all really. The only issue is there was a bit of peeling to the insole sort of lining that had sort of peeled up backwards on itself. But other than that, pretty good. There's no cracking in the rubber at all. These ones have sold for £26. And as you saw in my car boot video, I paid just £5 for these. So absolute bargain, £5. No vintage fees, no postage fees on top. Just £5 at the car boot into £26 plus postage on eBay. And the next one is this pair of Barkers here. Just a pair of black Barkers with lots sort of day-night rubber sole. I thought they were a lot better condition than they actually are. So I paid £9 all in on vintage. And they've sold for £26.99 on eBay. So not a bad profit, but... Really, with Barkers, if they're in good condition, you want to be getting sort of £35 upwards. I know that brand new in the shops, they sell for like 100 quid or more sometimes. But I think it all depends on the model and the sort of age of the shoe and just how heavily worn they are. As you can see, there's quite a few heavy creases along the tops here. But other than that, they're not bad condition. The heels aren't too worn. But yeah, I was happy with 26 99 just for that quick sale. Next up, you guys are no strangers to these ones. Just a sort of pink pinkish peachy um, adidas gazelle they've sold for 29 pound plus postage i can't remember the exact price i paid but it wouldn't have been more than a tenner on vintage for these ones here and they would have sold for a little bit more but unfortunately one of the shoes is a little bit sun faded you probably can't see it but the suede upper on one of them is a little bit bubbled compared to the other one there was a pair yesterday at the car boot which they are asking 20 quid for which had the exact same issue so i think it's a little bit common on these adidas gazelles for the suede to sort of start bobbling a little bit but they still sell so in better condition they probably would have fetched sort of 35 maybe 40 pound and i would have been showing you guys another pair of gazelles but of course that buyer cancelled this morning so hopefully they'll sell again by next week and they'll be in next week's video or sometime during the week whatever so the next ones to sell are these vans which are cult bmx as you can see by the logos there uh, they're almost like brand new condition they've got a super super bouncy sole on the inside i've took it out and it's like it's like half an inch thick, super thick sole. Uh, yeah, but they've sold for £29.99 plus postage. And I didn't pay more than £10 for these ones. I think they were like £7 on Vinted. So absolute bargain price to pay. Do look out for the BMX style vans. I know they're all kind of that sort of style, but you do get the ones which are actually merged with the brands themselves. So as you can see, these ones have sort of rubber protection on the sides there. It's all made like that to actually protect the shoes and your feet a little bit more whilst riding BMX, skateboard, all those kinds of things. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out on them. Next up is a pair of Hokers. So these ones I thought wouldn't sell. I had them up for 36 99 because they're absolutely beaten up. They've got holes in the heels here, which actually go all the way through to the sort of white plastic sort of um, surround here. Really heavily worn. The soles are pretty worn, but not too, too bad. I had them up for 36 99 Somebody this morning offered 30 
straight away accepted that one. Paid just £10 on Vinted, so not massive profits once again. It's one of those things. I jumped on them straight away when I saw them on Vinted because they are the model Clifton 8, which always sell really well. And I thought even at £10, I can easily get 30 quid, which is exactly what's happened. Made my sort of £15 profit after fees and all that kind of stuff. If they're in better condition and you're looking at like £60, £65, which I've sold these for before in the past. Other than the holes on the heels, the uppers and laces, insoles are all pretty good there's no actual heavy wear so they make the toe area just up here really soft so a lot of people's toenails poke through the tops and create little holes so just be wary of that when sniping on vintage or buying at the car boots next up we've got these ones here these are nike daybreaks i think these are 2021 so only a few years old but as you can see hardly worn at all so sort of a zebra style almost like brand new as you can see and these ones have sold for £32.99 plus the postage. I remember I paid such a cheap price on Vinted for these. That's the only reason I brought them because I wasn't certain on the model. I wasn't sure if they'll sell straight away or whatever. And to be fair, they did sit around for like two months before actually selling. But they finally gone this morning full price. I paid just £5 plus the fees on Vinted for these. So absolute bargain. What's that? £8.50 into £32.99. I'm not complaining at that one. And lastly, you probably saw these from the thumbnail. I nearly kept them for myself. I, I thought I was going to keep them because they were just my size, but just slightly too big. So last week, I actually decided to list them on eBay and the sale came through a few days later. These here are a pair of on cloud cloud monsters, and they are probably my favorite on cloud snipe on Vinted so far. I paid just £10 plus the fees. I'll show you a screenshot on Vinted if I can find it. But yeah, absolutely unbelievable. And they are genuine. They're not fake at all. Um, it's hard to tell just from my, me showing them in the video, but I've, do, I've done all the checks and everything and they check out to be 100% genuine. They've got to be sent to the eBay authenticator and then they'll send them on to the buyer. And they have sold for £80 plus postage on eBay. So that is definitely my sale of the weekend and makes up for the whole kind of poor weekend of sales. But I still wouldn't call it a good weekend really in my eyes. Um, I want to be hitting that sort of £100, £150 a day. Um, but unfortunately that didn't happen this weekend. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a glitch on eBay. I know there's a lot of people complaining about slow sales. I don't like to do that. I don't like to run to eBay and complain about it. I just think if there's something wrong with the shop, it's to do with me and my prices and my listing. I know that I didn't list on eBay last week, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday came along, I listed 15 items. So just to make up for those back days that I've missed. So yeah, it's probably my fault for not putting as much effort in, but that's what's happening. You know, we're busy. We're still doing this spare room. Still got this door to fit, that is the next job now. But yeah, last week was just a bit of a hectic week during life, so uh, just one of those things. Uh, hopefully this week we're a little bit more chilled out and I can get really good listings on the shop and actually start going through this car boot stock as well to list. Behind this door, I've actually got all the Sylvanian families still to go through. Um, got a load more shoes, got these pair of hokers here. A lot better condition than the ones that I've just shown you that sold. These here are a pair of Bondi 7s, and I think I only paid a tenner for them, but look at the condition of them. A lot better, no massive heel holes at all. Lovely condition, they should sell really well. And they also got a pair of Runstar hikes there, which I, I need to get listed. And yeah, like I said, there's just all the other car boot things. I've still got those caravan mirrors there, which is like a 50 pound item just sitting on the bench. So I need to get them listed. I bought an identical one of those soup makers yesterday, so need to get that as well listed. And that's like a 35 pound sale. So yeah, I've got the stock. I just need to put a little bit more time into cleaning it all up and getting it photographed and listed on eBay and hopefully those sales will come in. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I'm sorry there weren't as many bangers this week than there usually are, but at least we had this nice one here, which made up for it. And that is a quality brand to look out for. So do keep an eye out on OnCloud, on Vinted, and especially at the car boots, but it's just very hard to find them at a good price. So keep your eyes peeled though. They do pop up every now and then, but for now, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.